Well, greetings and salutations, test takers, weekend warriors. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank, uh, I highly recommend that as a paid supplement as well as the Quick Sheets, uh, which is about 20 bucks. Uh, QBank's about 60 with my Guru 10 discount code at checkout. Uh, for that commercial, we'll help you with any question from any vendor, but if it's a Kaplan question, uh, Kaplan, because of that commercial, allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan uh, content like this. This is a request for QID 1264144. I really kind of like this question. Uh, you know, the test isn't weighted, but if it is, uh, I would give you more than one point for certain questions because, you know, some are a little more difficult than others, right? Anyways, ABC Corporation has outstanding a seven and three quarters convertible debenture currently trading at 102. That's 102% of par. And so that's 1,020. That's the current market price of the convertible. As a test taker, the minute you hear convertible, you can kind of rest assured that what's going to be necessary is to calculate either parity of the stock or parity of the bond. Parity means equal, right? That's what parity means. You know, when people say, oh, you know, the NBA this season is, uh, you know, wide open because of parity. That means all the teams are kind of equal. There's no team that is above the others. Anyway, so that's where, what the word parity means. And we're going to have to calculate parity. Um, I don't know of any draw on Series 7, which you're not going to have to calculate parity. Anyways, the bond is convertible to common stock at 40. Boy, that's really important. The minute we get the conversion price, it's really important to know that we have to establish the conversion ratio. Looks like I had a typo there, who cares? So that's the next thing as a test taker. You say, okay, you know, they gave me the conversion price. I need to stop before I move forward and say, what is the conversion ratio? That is based on par, par is a thousand. And so if it was a convertible preferred stock, it'd be 100. But it's really important to establish that conversion ratio. All right, so now I'm back in business. I reset to par, I divide by 40, and now I am back in business. I know the conversion ratio is 25 shares. So the holder of these ABC Corporation convertible debentures can turn the bond in and get 25 shares of the common. Uh, ABC stock is trading at $45 a share. Which of the following statements is true? Now, maybe where this test taker struggled is not calculating parity. Because, you know, calculating parity would then let me evaluate whatever the choices are uh, offered to me. So I'm going to calculate parity before I do the reveal and see if that will be informative for me in terms of uh, solving this question. Now, there's both parity of the stock and parity of the bond. So let's look at parity of the bond equal. If we can actually get 25 shares of a $45 stock, we would think that that bond is worth the equivalent of that $1,125. That's what it's worth. And oh, oh my, the bond is only trading at 1,020. It looks like there is an arbitrage opportunity. You know, arbitrage test question is profiting from price discrepancy. And here we see in the secondary market that this convertible bond is uh, trading for 1,020. I can get this bond and I can turn it into the stock. And so that bond is below parity. It should be trading somewhere parity or above. Typically above parity would be the real world. However, arbitrage, there's a price discrepancy there. Now, the other thing, we should definitely buy the bond. So I don't know what the statements are coming on the reveal, but we should buy the bond. <laughs> We found a free lunch. Now, the other way I can attack this question is uh, calculating parity of the stock. So the way I go about that is I say, okay, parity of the stock, I'm going to take the current market price of the convertible, which is 1,020, and divide by 25 shares. And I find out that if I buy that bond and I convert it, I'd be paying 4080 for the stock. And that's what parity means, the equivalent. The equivalent of buying this bond and converting it would be the equivalent of paying 4080 for the stock. And right now the stock is 45. Again, price discrepancy. You know, we can get this uh, stock by buying the convertible at 4080 
when the stock's at 45. Again, it looks like from this question, there is an arbitrage opportunity. Arbitrage is profiting from price discrepancies. So two ways to discover the price discrepancy. One is we did parity of the bond and found out the bond should be worth at least 1,125 and is trading at 1,020. So that was one way to discover the price discrepancy. Another way to discover the price discrepancy was to take the uh, parity of the stock, take the current market price of the convertible, 1,020, divide by the 25 shares and save 4080. So uh, needless to say, we should buy the bonds. We found a uh, inefficiency, if you will. <laughs> you won't see this in the real world, but at least, you know, in Series 7 fantasy land, you're going to see this. I joke, at least when you pass, you get to leave the Series 7 fantasy land. I'm stuck here permanently. No wonder I'm demented. But if you do find such a situation in the real world, please call me. Please call me. All right, well, let's see there. Yeah, do the reveal here and see what answers are offered to us. Now, let me clear up my drawings here. Uh, boom. The profit from this situation, the investor should buy the bonds and short the stock. Yeah, that's called riskless arbitrage. Riskless arbitrage. So let me just go back here again. So what I'm going to do, because uh, risk arbitrage would be the buy the bonds and hope that by the time I convert, that that price discrepancy is still there. You know, so what I'm going to do here is uh, buy the bonds. Let me just get out a T. Here's my T, dollars out versus dollars in. There are so many scenarios in which being able to track money is really important. So that's going to be dollars out. And this is going to be dollars in. And so, you know, what I'm afraid of is by the time I get that done, that that price discrepancy might go bye-bye. I'll do, by the way, I should buy as many bonds as I possibly can, right? And short as much stock as I possibly can. But to make it, uh, you know, more aesthetically pleasing as an explication, I'm going to sell short 100 shares of the stock at 45. So I'm going to bring in the uh, 4,500 for selling short the borrowed stock. And then I'm going to buy the bond. I'm going to buy four of them. You guys remember they're convertible into 25 shares and that would be a nice round lot. So 1,020 times four, I'm going to pay 4,080 for four of the bonds. Boom. And there is uh, Dean making his money on riskless arbitrage. Risk arbitrage would mean I leave it open, but here, uh, that's how I'm going to make delivery, by the way, of the borrowed stock. I'm going to convert the bonds into the stock and give the stock back to the person I borrowed it from. And so, indeed. Uh, by the way, I would know as a test taker that in this situation, when you're profiting from a price discrepancy, you know, there's two types of arbitrage. I wouldn't worry about riskless versus risk arbitrage, but this is riskless arbitrage. You know, risk arbitrage would mean I buy the bonds, convert in the stock and hope the stock is 48 or 50, but it could be 42. And so uh, that sounds like the right answer, right? Uh, let's see. Do we want to look, look at the wrong answers? I don't know why we would, but uh, let's go ahead and look at the wrong answers. Uh, let's see. The bond is a parity with the stock. No, we just did the math. And that was why there was an opportunity, because that was not true. The bond was below parity with the stock. To profit, you should buy the stock and short the bonds. No, an arbitrage opportunity does not exist. No, the arbitrage opportunity does exist. All right. Well, remember, inch by inch, your exam is a sense, yard by yard, your exam is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication uh, request.